Hey VC, it's the official Mikey Bananas intro to the VC video. I have been a member of the uh, vinyl community for approximately one year now. I've not done one of these videos. I decided it was time to do one right now. And uh, this is where everybody kind of gets on and talks about their little uh, their little vinyl journey, how it got started, and uh, and what their deal is. What's your deal? I'm going to about tell you my deal. Uh, my deal is uh, I've been collecting records for a few years now. And uh, it, I, I collected records for a little bit in the 90s, a little bit. And uh, I, I was a working musician for like 20 years. And so in that time, I, I acquired a couple of turntables and, uh, and um, a mixer and a small stack of records. And I kind of had them and I didn't really care too much about it. And then uh, I kept them with me over the years. And, uh, and then uh, as my musician playing out days kind of came to a close I developed a fever for going out and collecting records and it all stemmed from uh, I was watching a good times marathon right I'm gonna keep this short but I was watching a good times marathon they put on some funk records and uh, I was like hey I got a couple of funk records I'd picked up a car wash LP right and so uh, next thing I know on good times thing they're on there dancing doing their thing and I'm like oh man I was having a little drink it was a Friday night more about that later um, and uh, so I, I was like I got some turntables I got a funk record and so I came in here and I hooked them up and I put the car wash LP on and I was just like yeah that's where it's at I had this problem with falling asleep on Friday nights after I didn't uh, I didn't uh, I didn't have music shows to go play anymore um, I would have these big plans for Friday nights and I would get home and I would be very sleepy after like one drink. And so that's what motivated me to hook my turntables back up and we started doing a thing where we listen to records every Friday night. So what, what I collect mainly, okay, I'm really proud of my jazz collection. I think uh, I've got a really nice jazz collection that all started back from like Bill Cosby uh, on the Cosby Show, going down to the basement with a crate of jazz records and the old uh, record player. I've got a nice jazz collection, so I, I collect jazz really into collecting funk records obviously I collect a uh, rock records and i've really particularly honed in on like late 60s early 70s psych rock uh, i think that stuff is really cool and it's something that's really hit a chord me it's stuff i keep learning uh stuff about every day and that's uh, that's cool that's something that completely slipped me by you know growing up in music and so uh you know i but i collect all kinds of stuff I've got ambient records we've got country records bluegrass records uh, between me and the roommate, aka cameraman, we probably got uh, four thousand some records in the in the in the space now, and uh, you know we keep things keep things moving and grooving. Got some 45s. I got my mom's original 45s. When I was a little kid, I used to spend those 45s go from record to record to record to record. That was like my first record experience. Go digging quite frequently, and that's the thing that really jazzes me up is actually getting out and getting your knuckles dirty and getting uh, getting in the crates and finding things. Kind of been bored with music, uh, new music for a long time. And uh, went out, you start finding things from late 60s, early 70s that was, uh, that, that you've never heard of. And that is the coolest shit uh, that, that's happened to me in a long time. Found a lot of great artists that I had no idea existed. Found some cool new stuff too, and that's what's cool about the VC. They'll keep you hip to what's going on, and they'll keep you hip to some stuff you may have missed 40 years ago. And that's the stuff I really appreciate. We've developed this thing that we call Grown Man Record Night. Now, what Grown Man Record Night is all about, that's basically what our little uh, uh, vinyl recent find videos that you see out on YouTube, we kind of do that, but we do it in a, a much different way. And before I knew what the hell a VC was, uh, we were getting together on Friday nights, listening to records, having a few drinks, having some fellowship and some good time, and then I started finding this stuff out about uh, the vinyl community. And I'm like, hey, well, we're kind of doing that already. Pe first time people said VC, I was like, what the hell is a VC? And I, then, I, then I figured out that even though we've been doing this forever, um, or not forever, but a couple of years now, there's this thing out there called the VC. And isn't that cool? There's a lot of cool cats out there. I uh, met a lot of cool people already just in the past year, like Sean0612, Michael Cool among others. I mean, both of those cats have sent us stuff in the mail, this thing called the VCLT. That's the Vinyl Community Love Train. I don't know what that was. I don't know nothing. This dude's be sending me records in the mail. And uh, it's like, here you go. Here's a good copy of this record. 
How cool is that? That's awesome business. So anyhow, it's a cool thing. And so every Friday night we get together, we do a, a broadcast on Ustream.tv where we, uh, we play uh, records and we stream them live and we do this talk show in the middle. Now this talk show, uh, every week we do uh, this segment called Dig of the Week, which would be like uh, the you know your recent vinyl finds. It's the stuff. Uh, my, me and my co-host Steve Fever, what we find out in the crates, uh, the local crates, in the past uh, week or so, and we highlight that in this Dig of the Week segment. Uh, so we keep that fresh every week. We also have segments called So to Speak Chip Chat, where we highlight new and unique sodas and chips, plus serving suggestions. We got these things posted, Ustream.tv. Um, that's where we do the live show every Friday. You can come hang out with us there. And also we post the talk show segments, which is sort of like our recent Vinyl Fonds Dig of the Week vids. Post that to the YouTube deal. And so uh, please subscribe to us and we're gonna give away some cool stuff. And we really look forward to uh, more time with the VC, getting to know more people, getting to uh, hear cool new music suggestions. And we hope people will like our stuff and watch our stuff too. So I don't know. But I just want to say hey to the VC, even though I've been here for a year, you guys watch uh, Grown Man Record Night every Friday night and then uh, watch our uh, videos on YouTube and we'll like and subscribe to your business too. And we look forward to having uh, another great year in the vinyl community. Hi, hi.